This is Noemi Okana, and we went to Nicaragua to interview her. She's a regional director for a microfinance program. Now, does everybody know what microfinance is? When it, pretty much, you know, we all know now. And before I went over, you know, my image was it's, it's a small loan. It could be a $50 loan to somebody who has a beauty salon or, or a business and they want to expand and it's going to make a difference. It's life changing, you know, and it's this great program that does microloans. But what you saw when we went there and we were on the ground is that you, you can't just pick people and give them a loan. You know, you, you don't know if they're going to be able to pay it back or not. And they can't have a credit rating. You know, they don't have all this stuff we have. So the way, instead of a credit rating, what they have is what they call a trust group. So if you have a group of women that's doing this together, if the group trusts you, then you can get the loan. And what the trust means is if you don't pay it back, the rest of the group will. So they really have to trust you, right? So that's your credit rating in that community is do you have a group of women that trust you? Nicaragua has some of the poorest people. And to say, here, I'm going to give you an extra $50. Now try harder. And when you're at subsistence, you know, it's not that simple. And so this idea of women coming together to encourage each other with their businesses and to trust each other and to work together, that's a lot of the game changer. But I want to share one story from this that they were, we were told a story about a woman who came to her trust group meeting, it was just once a week, and she was supposed to make a payment on her loan, and she couldn't make the payment. And she said, my husband took all the money that I made this week, and he went to the bar. So they said, OK, well, let's go to the bar. So this gaggle of women and babies and grandmas starts heading down the road to the bar to find her husband and the money that, that he took. And I think he, word got ahead. You know, it's a slow-moving group. Word, <laughs> word got ahead, so he tried to sneak out the back, but they covered both doors, and you know, they got him. And, um, And he said, I only took what was mine. Because in the culture, what a woman has belongs to her husband. But the group said, it wasn't hers. It was ours. And what is ours doesn't belong to him. Now, I don't know if it was the force of their logic or their sheer numbers, but they got the money back, and he didn't bother her again. So again, it's just, it was such a poignant story for me about how the importance of them sticking together was the real game changer. And you think in a culture where women are so oppressed and there may be corrupt government officials and there's so many things going on, the simple economics that we think of isn't the whole story. The whole story is really about we have to stick up for each other and stick together to make all this work. And I know we have a few brave, bold men in the audience as well. And I'm not dissing men here at all, too, because we need our allies and our advocates. We need to all stick together. But it's that that really is the game changer.